Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I got the Dynamic Island, as you can see right here, on my S22 Ultra. Now, before the Android and iOS fans start a fight in the comments, this is not trying to make the S22 Ultra the iPhone 14 Pro, alright? It's nothing like that, it's just that this is a feature that I found to be very useful and yes, Apple was the one to actually embrace their pill cut out and they made it something which is interactive and useful and I want to get the most out of my S22 Ultra which is already a beastly device and I just wanted something that is as useful. Now truth be told existing viewers on my channel already know that I have been an iPhone user. I own the iPhone 13 Pro Max before I got the S22 Ultra. I got bored of iOS and I wanted something more flexible and customizable so I got the S22 Ultra and next year maybe I'll get the iPhone 15 Pro Max or Ultra whatever they call it. Anyway, let's get back to the topic. I got the Dynamic Island or the Dynamic Spot as this app is called on my S22 Ultra and it is more useful than you think. So it's an app called the Dynamic Spot. Now this is still in beta so the software isn't completely mature yet so there are some bugs here and there which are faced but it is in the process of being continuously refined by the developer. Now this app is free but you can pay a small amount to get the pro features but most of the stuff works. So as you can see this is the front facing camera and if you go to this app and press play to get a demo as you can see I already got a notification right now and it pops up like that and uh, there are you can choose which apps have access to this so you can enable all apps or you can choose exactly the ones you want and you can even go to dimensions and choose the size of the dynamic spot you can change the thickness the length and the position so i've set it according to what i find it best so that it doesn't cover up these notifications at the corner so let's just go back now let me let me just give you a demo so say i open spotify and i've kept the volume low because otherwise copyright oops all right so now i've got spotify running and i'm playing a song and i minimize this and you can see i have the album art right over here and the waveform over here now it's not just that if i long press on this i can actually interact with this so i can seek forward i can pause and i can change the track now, I don't know if you've noticed, there is a bug already, which is that the duration of the track is incorrect here. It's actually a very small track. It's not 32 minutes long. So that is a bug, which obviously the developer is going to solve. But the fact of the matter is, this is pretty useful. And if you want to get rid of it, you can just close the app and it's gone. Now over here, I've got some notifications. So someone commented. So if I long press this, someone commented on my YouTube channel and I can see that there and then once I've seen it, it goes away and obviously I have the notifications here as well. Now say we go to voice recorder. So I open that, start a recording immediately, it comes up over here and I can minimize this. Now because I've got recorder and a text message, so if I long press on the text message, I can actually read this. So I'm getting some deliveries, so I can read that and I can even mark as read. Okay, so you've got a tweet, so that's come up as well. So this is by Ben Geskin, a tweet has come out and I can see his profile picture here. I can interact with this, I can retweet or like. So I press like, and so that's gone. And now I have the text message here. All right, so now the recording is going on, as you can see the timer. So if I long press, I can see that it's been 40 seconds that I've been recording. And if I tap on this, I can just go back to the recorder. I can press stop and discard, close it. So that is gone, I still have messages here. So I can just mark as red, and that's gone. Now I can see what else is there, someone's asked me something, I can just swipe it away, and it's gone. So guys, again, let me just say that this is not me trying to make the S22 Ultra or telling you to make the S22 Ultra look more like an iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max. It's just that this is a feature which Apple has introduced. They have embraced their pill cutout and I find this to be very, very useful. Ultimately, this phone is meant to serve you and if anything makes your life easier, if you can get more out of this phone, even if it's something that another brand made and this brand 
made it after that if it's copied either way i think the ones who stand to benefit are the users us so instead of being so negative about this being copied by android and apple was the first one so be it there are many things they've both taken from each other and i find that this dynamic island or the dynamic spot in this case is a very useful thing to have so i'm going to link this app in the description below make sure you check it out download it on your phone if it's supported now a, th a bit of warning in the sense that when you check out um these frequently asked questions so one thing that he says the developer at the end is that samsung could disable this app with a software update so please check if the app is still compatible before an update so if samsung finds this and finds this to be repulsive they can actually stop this from working and that would suck because if it's allowed to stay this developer is definitely going to make these animations more fluid he's going to get rid of the bu the bugs which are there and it's going to work very nice and i found this to be very very useful this interaction here has been very useful it makes stuff be more minimal and i like it and the fact that it's actually better than the iphone 14 pro in a sense that when it goes away it's you just have this punch hole camera over here that's all you have so instead of having a pill it's just i don't know i find it useful and i think i'm gonna if this app is allowed to stay i'm definitely going to keep using this in the future so fingers crossed any of guys this app like i said is called the dynamic spot make sure you check it out from the link in the description below and it's very very cheap to get the pro version to make most of the customizations so make sure you if you can you buy this app and support the developer and uh, give him feedback so that he can make it more and more refined and as good as we have on the iphone so yeah that's that so thank you guys for watching if you found this entertaining and helpful make sure to smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and as always i'll catch you guys very soon in the next one cheers and before we go one more demo of apple music play a song minimize it and there we go album art waveform interact pause change track pretty neat all right catch you guys soon cheers